Hello my super smart kids, how are you all doing? Welcome to a new science lecture video and we're still talking about light. Light that is a kind of energy made of electromagnetic waves that travel space in straight lines. The electric bulb is an artificial light source. The sun is a natural light source. These light sources provide us with the white visible light. So the visible light is the light that we can see with our eyes. The white light is composed of seven different light colors. How do we know that? It's because of diffraction. This is how rainbows happen. When the white light of the sun passes through a droplet of water, it diffracts into the seven colors of the rainbow which are in order. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Sometimes this white light can be blocked by opaque objects. And this is how shadows happen. When an opaque object blocks the light from a light source, shadows happen. We'll have a shadow. Do we only have visible lights? No. There are other kinds of light that we cannot see, such as the infrared light and the ultraviolet light. Now, light helps us see. How do we see objects around us? It's because these objects reflect light. Let's take, for example, these bananas. Bananas are yellow. We see bananas as yellow because they absorb all the colors of the visible spectrum, but they reflect the yellow light to our eyes. Do all objects block light and reflect light? No. We have three types of objects according to the way they light interact with them. Opaque objects do not let light pass through them at all. So if you're trying to see through an opaque object, the view is blocked, you see nothing. Translucent objects let some of the light pass through, so you will see an unclear image through uh, a translucent object. Transparent objects let all the light pass through, such as glass. A glass window will help you see a clear image of what's behind. Mirrors now are a special kind of opaque objects that reflect light. So they do not let light pass through them, but they reflect it. The light bounces off these objects, off the smooth surface of the mirror. How does reflection happen? You will need first a source of light. The source of light emits light. Here is the incident ray, which is the ray of light coming out of a source of light. The incident ray hits the mirror in a point called the point of incidence. That's right. Can you continue? Can you help me continue with this diagram? How can we draw the reflected ray of this incident ray? You will need first a set square. Draw a normal in the point of incidence. The normal is, per is perpendicular to the mirror. Then, measure the angle of incidence, which is between the normal and the incident ray. In this case, it's 60 degrees. So, in the other side of the normal, you will need to draw an angle of 60 degrees, right here, with a point. Connect these two points together, the point of incidence and the point of the angle. Here is our reflected ray with an angle of reflection equal to 60 degrees. This is a regular reflection. And this is how we can see objects and ourselves in mirrors. Here is a flat mirror. 
the flat mirror shows an image of the same size of the object. They have the image and the object are symmetrical to the mirror. This means that the distance between the object and the mirror is equal to the distance between the mirror and the image. This image is virtual. It's upright. The only difference between the image and the object is that it is reversed right to left. That's all about flat mirrors. What about concave mirrors? As you can see, the image of the hand is bigger than the hand itself. That's what concave mirrors do. They give us images larger than the objects. Convex mirrors do the opposite. They give you a wide image of the place. They make things smaller in size. Today we'll talk about something else. So, a laser light source is sent to the separation surface between the air and the glass. Did the light ray continue in a straight way? No, you can clearly see that the light ray is broken. It bends a bit. And also, when the light ray leaves the glass to the air, it bends again. It's broken again. Light rays bend. They change their direction when they move from a transparent place, transparent medium, to another transparent medium. Let's take another example. A light ray passes from the air to the water. Did it continue in a straight way? No, it did not. It's broken. It bends a bit. That's what we call refraction. Light rays bend when they move from water into the air from glass into the air. What's the difference between reflection and refraction? Reflection is when the light bounces off a surface. So it goes down on the mirror surface and then it changes its it bounces off. It reflects. It changes its direction in the same medium. It doesn't pass through the mirror. While through refraction, by refraction, the light ray bends. It passes to the second side of, so here is the light ray from this side. It can pass to the second side, but it changes its direction. The bending of light rays as they pass from one substance into another is called refraction. refraction. And refraction causes some things to look strange. Look at the spoon in uh, this cup. The spoon looks broken, right? Also, look at the straw. The straw in the water looks broken. This drawing explains everything. So, when light passes, you know that we see things when they reflect light to our eyes. But look, this pencil was trying to send us to reflect light to our eyes. When light passes from water into the air, it breaks down. It bends. For this reason, this is the pencil. This is the shape that we see. We see a broken pencil. Bending of light happens because of change of speed and of di direction of light when the light passes from a transparent place to another transparent place. Okay, let me talk again about the spoon. The spoon in the picture appears to be bent. It appears broken. This bending is a trick that light play on our eyes. As light rays from the lower part of the spoon go from water into the air, they, changes, they change its, uh, their direction. This causes the spoon to appear broken. 
To see the stick in the water, the stick reflects light to our eyes. When the light rays pass from the water to our eyes, they change their direction. So this is what we see. This is the image that we see. The stick, here are the light rays sent or reflected by the stick. They bent when they leave the water. The stick appears to be bent. It appears to be broken. This is the image of the stick. Okay, what about the pencil? Look, the pencil reflects light to our eyes. Here is the actual position. The actual, the pencil reflects light to our eyes. When the light rays leave the water to the air, they bend. They are broken. This is why the pencil appears to be in here and it appears to be broken. This is a simple simulation showing the refraction and the reflection of light. Okay, let me put an incident ray with an angle of 45 degrees. When Okay, I will keep the light ray in the same medium. If the light ray, if light was traveling in the same medium in the air, for example, in water only, the light ray does not change its direction. It continues in a straight way. It doesn't change its direction. What if we change the medium? The, the light ray is passing from a transparent medium to another one. Did the light ray continue in a straight way, in a straight line? No, it did not. The light ray bent. And now the angle of the refraction is smaller than the angle of incidence. Let me change the angle of incidence. I will put 80, an angle of incidence equal to 80 degrees. Look. The light ray bends, and here is the refracted um, light ray with an angle of refraction smaller than the angle of incidence. Okay, look, the light ray bends. That's what we call refraction. What about reflection? Let me show you. The reflected ray. What's the difference between reflection and refraction? Here is the reflected ray. The law of reflection says that the angle of incidence must be equal to the angle of reflection, and reflection happens in the same place, in the same medium. Okay? The light ray bounces off a surface and it comes back to us in the same medium. So here is the refracted ray. It's when light passes from a place to another place. Reflection happens in one medium. A beam of light is sent in the air. Okay? The light ray does not change its direction. Let's see. I will let light pass from the air to water. There is always a part of the light that will be reflected. Look at the angle of incidence. It should be equal to the angle of reflection. Okay? I will take out the angle of reflection now. Let us talk about refraction. The light ray does not continue in a straight uh, line. It bends a bit when it passes, when light passes from the air to the water. Here is the angle of refraction. It is smaller than the angle of reflection. Okay? Let's see what happens to the light when it passes, let's see, from the air into the glass. Angle of reflection. There is always a part of the light that will be reflected. Here is the angle of refraction that is smaller than the angle of incidence. The light ray bends. This is refraction. 
A lens is an object that refracts light. Look at this. The light rays, when they pass through the lens, they change their uh, direction. And as you saw, we have two types of lenses. We have convex lenses and we have concave lenses. I think I will... Convex lenses, they, we, they are also called converging lenses. They have thin edges and they converge light rays to the same point. While concave lenses, they have thick edges like the one here showed in the video right now. It has thick edges and it diverges out light rays. It put them apart. Another video showing the difference between the convex lens and the concave lens. Convex lenses form images by refracting light rays together. They put all light rays together in a same point. While concave lenses, they form images by refracting light rays apart. Okay? Concave lenses have uh, thick edges. Why? It's like the ones shown right now in both videos, while convex lenses, they have thin edges. Look, here is a convex lens. It has thin edges and it puts all the light rays together. It refracts light rays together. Look at the concave lens. It has thick edges and it refracts light rays apart. This is today's lesson. It was about light refraction. So how light rays behave as they move from a medium to another? Light rays bend when they move from a medium to another medium. Look at the original light ray and at the refracted light ray. What's the refraction? It's the bending of the light rays and it's the reason of um, the weird appearance, appearance of the uh, broken straw in water, broken pencil in water. So, what's the difference between concave and convex lenses? Concave lenses have thick edges and they refract light rays apart. Conca convex lenses, they have thin edges and they put all light rays, they refract them together. Here is a convex lens, a concave lens. Why do sometimes some things look strange? It's because of refraction. Look at the fish. This is the real place of the fish. Sometimes fish appears to be in a different place when they are in the water.
Here is the image. In order to see it, the fish reflects light to our eye. When the light rays leave the water to our eyes, they bend, they change their direction. So the image of the fish is not in the same place as the real fish. And that's it. We're done. I hope you liked the video. Uh, if you still have any questions about the lesson, I will be happy to answer them all. Take care. See you soon.